People always speak about addictions like they're a bad thing. Oh, he's addicted to smoking, he's addicted to huffing paint thinner. Well, here's a good addiction. Field Runners. It's like Huey Lewis said, I want a new drug called Field Runners. The gateway drug to tower defense games on your iPod. What I'm doing here is setting up presents for some soldiers to run towards. <laughs> I want a new drug called Field Runners. It's a catchy tune. It's on the uh, third side of the Back to the Future cassette. <laughs> it's always fun watching those little guys get mowed down. Tower Defense Games. Yes, they may be a dime a dozen these days on the iPod and other mobile devices, but there's a reason for that. They're awesome. They work really well with touch screens and are fun to play anywhere. Also, you don't have to do anything complicated, like tilting the iPod or whatever. You just point at a little machine gun, a rocket launcher or goo gun, move them into position, and watch your enemies get blown away by the hundreds and thousands with a giant grin on your face. Occasionally rearranging them or upgrading them. And they're the perfect uh, games on the go. You can play them for a while, save it, come back and play them later. You can enjoy a good game of field runners at lunch or at the gym riding the exercise bike because you don't really have to fiddle with the controls. You just point, click, drag, and watch explosions. If this thing was hot and served drinks, I would say marry it because it's perfect. Field Runners is remarkably likable even within an already likable genre. It has a nice graphical presentation on the iPod Touch, which is what we're watching it on here. Occasionally when the screen gets really full of enemies, there's a bit of slowdown, but nothing that really interferes with gameplay. There's only four different units to worry about. You have the machine gun, the goo gun, which uh, slows enemies down, missile launchers, and then the electrocution device, which is the most powerful weapon. And as you see here, what I'm doing is directing the enemies using lines of machine guns. Trying to wear them down and then eventually destroy them before they reach the other side of the screen. And reduce my life, which is shown on the top right. Now, I'm doing a piss poor job in this game, which I'm playing on normal. And I'm going to lose here. I've made it up to level 77 on normal. And really haven't quite figured out the perfect combination of weapons yet. That's the fun part in Field Runners. It's, it's a beautiful strategy game. Because the machine guns do very little damage, but you can use them to direct the flow of enemies into things like missile launchers, which do a lot of damage. Then the game will also throw helicopters, airplanes, and blimps at you, which fly over your defenses, requiring you to also plan in advance for that, primarily with missile launchers. The game is well balanced in that, at least on normal, it seems like you never have quite enough. You never have all of the equipment that you need, and it seems like if you save up to buy just missile launchers and upgrade them and buy the electrocution tower things, then you don't have enough of the machine guns to direct the flow of enemies and slow them down. It's the strategy element in Field Runners that's so much fun, and that's why the game is so wildly addictive. And while there's not much in the way of sound design or audio effects, the little screams and machine gun sounds are likable and well done. Talk about being sent into the meat grinder. When you download Field Runners, you get three different levels to play on. Here's the second one, where enemies are coming at you from two directions, and I'm playing this one on easy, which is not necessarily easy, but certainly easier than normal, at least, in getting the heavier weapons upgraded to maximum firepower. I'll zoom out here so you can see the entire playing field and my strategic thinking, where I'm driving all of the enemies right into a giant pit of chaos and destruction, where they are slowed down and bombarded with electricity machine guns and missiles. Nothing is getting through this one, which is why I'm going to make it through all 100 levels, which then will unlock new modes of gameplay. Field Runners also has global leaderboards and the iPod equivalent of achievement points. As of this recording, there's two additional levels that you can pay to download, and I'll probably be reviewing soon because I'm addicted to Field Runners. It's the kind of addiction I'm proud of, because it doesn't hurt anyone if you're addicted to Field Runners. Unless you don't get your Field Runners fix, and then you start going crazy. 
and setting up gun turrets and missile launchers everywhere, waiting for little people in red coats to run through them. 